Wakurugenzi! <laughs> My man! Ah, season 2, episode 8. Young and stupid, fresh out the kitchen! You guys! Ay, 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 ay! Kuna katrend ka vijana hapa hivi inje jo na si katrend ka fiti. Nika sema wacha ni pige story moja tu. Dio wale wakona maskio. Na waski. Sababu the world is cruel out here. Hapa inje, hapa inje ni ngori. Swafi. Hai, tuende kazi. The year is 2008. Huh. The year 2008, tuko pale tunapanga kitu inaitua Kenya Institute of Mass Communication Culture Week. Yetu ya muisho. That's our very last one. Sisi tunatoka hapo tuzidi, tuenda shuguli zetu sisi. So, katika ile pilka pilka ya arrangements pale, eh, lazima mutume mabarua kwa institutions. Sababu tulikuwa tuna inviting institutions over, wana come. Tuna genuize, as in wana come, wana shudia bana, tunakula shere pale. Yeah, bila tu high school eh, fangimu likuwa mnatuma mabarua, eh, hey, waso apart, tumetuma barua St. George's, tumetuma barua ngine Cubs, tumetuma barua PB, eh, then wana respond, wana sema, yeah, we'll be there. Ay, muna noise, muna jo hapa, funky inaenda kunasa. So the same even for us pale college culture uh, culture week ilikuwa hivyo mnatuma ma invites kwa machuo so places zenye si mbali au need kuweka barua kwa poster ikae sijui wiki mzima huko imeenda sijui nini hakuna hiyo wewe weka barua kwa mfuko kimbiza eh na mbona tuko tunacheza na email sio time eh nyaya si ni mafosil 2008 pale mbona tuko tunasukuma emails and we were a communication institution so ya, yeah. mimi nimeshikishwa barua yangu hapo nikaambiwa sasa barua zako unapeleka institution mbili. Moja iko pale Gigiri inaitwa Kenya Technical Teachers College na nyingine iko pale Ronga. In at the time ilikuwa inaitwa Kenya uh, KT, KCCT, Kenya College of Communication Technology. Kitu kama hiyo. Of course ilikuwa mika change jina siku hizi inaitwa Multimedia Uni MMU. Swafi so, ah, pale ronga, nikuwa na wacha nianza na hiyo ronga, then nikimbia KTTC, hakuna pressure, so nikakimbia pale ronga, eh, nikapatia na barua eh, KCCT. Then, teke teke, I found my way to Gigiri, baka wapi? Eh, Kenya Te eh, Technical Teachers College, KTTC. Kapatia na barua pale, of course, nika make friends, nini, nini. Among the people I met there, ilikuwa mresh flani maze, na ito Vio. Think ilikuwa Viola. Ah, very charming lady maze. Tu, as in tuli kwa tu, tunakutanaga huko tunabonga ma time nini culture week akakam ile kubonga bonga ni dem true dem ah deadly chali yake in fact coincidentally tulikuwa tumekutanaga na ye drama fest wakati nilikuwa bado high school alikuwa some school in Nyanza or something so vile si tuliingia 2003 vile tuliingia drama eh, national kisumu alikuwa competitor wangu maze tulisumbuana deadly of course hiyo time hatu kubonga but hii time sasa vayo amesha ni introduce kwake ni tusha Joanna ni boy true mbaya sana so to me, from Kabonda up relationship kapo tunabongaga nini once in a while once in a while eh, then after some time to kapoteleana tu unajua vile wasu upoteleana nini nini life you happen so nimekam ni commit na chali ya vayo i think sometime in 2015 2015 so to me bompiana tu eh hey, ukoaje nini mpotea nini nini Eh hey, nakumbuka mara ya mwisho tukibonga mlikuwa mpaka mnafikiria vile we na vayo mta make things official ma official nini bado bado yuko ama si, sioni mapicha nini eh hey, akan show jo bro eh hey, maze mambo iligonga chini buda eh hey, lazima jo kae tu chini jo tupigie story jo hii hi ni sinema mzee eh hey, nikakuwa curious oh, najua mkurugenzi mahali kuna story ya utamkosa kweli kaambia buda kunywa soda wewe Eh hey, niambie jo nini what happened man eh hey, akanisho jo sasa immediately after KTTC Vayo alienda aka apply course nyingine i think uh, ilikuwa ni stories za accounting or something so alikuwa ganaenda ga chuo KCA pale Thika Road so jamaa uboy uh, wake asha asha pata works zingine sijui zilikuwa ni works gani so yeye yeah, anasukuma works huku but Vayo hawak amerudi chuo ameenda kuongeza ma stories za accounting na vitu hizo 
So of course maze relationship yao imekuwa deadly design mpaka sasa wazazi washaanza kujuana maze ni aje huyu msichana niliokota college pale maze naona tukienda na yeye mbali yeah, the same na happen kwa kina deme maze kuna ndume hapa niliokota pale kole maze anaka Ah, hii hapa kuna kitu. Hapa tunaenda far. So mazee mpaka wameshajuana yani extended family wana ah yani hapa ilikuwa ni kabisa. Hii ni tunaenda kumaliza. Then pole pole tu pale KCCT aka akaanza ku kukuwa na si, si ati ni relationship ni ile tu best unajua vile unaweza ingia tu kwa institution fulani umit msetu hapo mko na the same eh, interest nini so aka meet boy fulani hapo mzee funny enough ako na some comoran ama ni comorian descent ni hawa so wa comoros so i think alikuwa kuna kitu walikuwa na duuku eh, as a family so akaona badala ya kukaa idol si hata yeye afanye fanya tu vitu hapo chuo mbio mbio so alikuwa anafanya mavitu to do with accounting and something so alikuwa ana bongaga tu hivi after class wanakutana wanapiga na mapusha hapo kwa stage nini kila mtu anaenda njia zake but somehow mzee boy wa comoros hapa mukuchu wey fire so mzee inafika time ni birthday ya mresh uh, jamaa ana kama anambia mresh eh ni aje ni birthday yako nini una plans Ah na msho mzee ah, you know the usual tutaenda hivi kwa hoteli nijifanye sijui alafu ma waiter wakuje wakiniimbia kataka kitu kule za nijifanye niko surprise you know the usual shenanigans so apart from that hakuna kitu kingine ya maana eh hey, okay kidogo kidogo mzee boy ana kama anampiga ka envelope anamwambia siwe na boy wako hata kule tu bretha kidogo pandani ataka ndege pale Wilson ama hata JKIA mwingi hapa coast mzee ataka ni 2 3 days eh hey, mcheki form ni gani eh hey, mzee dema naangalia ndani jog baasha bunda bunda so of course dem kwanza okay ako excited lakini amechanganyikiwa kwa nini mzee ujamaa ananishikisha mula hivyo mzee muku tu design ya noma so of course anaenda home anaambia boy wake eh hey, mzee kuna ule boy wangu pale chuo daro mzee ametuish mimi na wewe a, a happy birthday yangu <laughs> na akasema twende na wewe costo ah so boy wangu hapa anashindwa why kwa nini ndume ya kupatia do uende costo na chali yako kwa nini what's happening what's happening so akasema ah mi sielewi but okay mimi nikipima mimi sioni kitu malicious ingekuwa malicious kama angeniambia kuja twende costo na wewe lakini unaona amenipatia pesa kaniambia niende na chali yangu ina maanisha jamaa ro safi yako tu sawa ah so boys akaona okay yeah kuna koga na watu wazuri hapa nje alafu kwanza nasikia ni mtu wa Comoros maybe watu wa Comoros wanakoga na ro safi hivyo yeah, it's in their culture to gift ah why not tukimbia diani wewe Hey, hao take it take mpaka diani very fast. So ameenda wamejibamba nini 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 na wakarudi. So kutoka hapo ikaanza kukuwa tu ni a series of such like things zina happen. Eh hey, niaje nini uko fiti? Ah una commute sana mtu wangu. Kwani hawezi takata kushika kakeja mahali uko aga unabangaiza karibu na chuo badala ya kushinda hii commute commute. Naweza kulipia rent atakaa ni 3 months 4 months. Haina mambo unaweza kama na chali yako. Why? So dema nakimbia kwa boy wake na mbe imagine eh hey, ule boy wangu wa Komoro sana sema historia ya kukomute by the anaona ina kafani eh anadai kana za tafuta kahawa hapo karibu hata kama ni roisani ni kahawa tu kachip ka 10 gs 12 gs eh ni shilingi tu hapo nini ikuwe rahisi kukomute chuo una check here inakata hiyo safari safari nyingi then eh hapa katikati ya siku amesema anaweza nitafutia kahaso hapa na pale ndio niko na jikip na jikip busy ni acha kuka idle leave So boy wameshafika point mzee kwa hii relationship huu jamaa nikaasha kwa third wheel yani juu mzee mamuku tu ma gift zinacheza pale mambo iko mufti mambo shwari man so naomba okay haina mambo kama ni ni boy anaifanya out of the you know goodness of his heart ni sawa wewe chukua so kidogo kidogo mzee boy ana come na story anawaambia so nilikuwa nikushikie keja mahali pale roisa Ah, lakini nimepiga hesabu ya haraka haraka nikaona hakuna haja pale mali si tuna stay garden estate kuna like three whole rooms hapo hazina kazi juu it's a whole house na tuko tu mimi na my elder brother eh, na, na a cousin of ours tuna tuna staying pamoja so ah, badala ya ku west door tukishika ni nyingine si uko una commit una commit tu kutoka kwa hii maskani yetu plus sisi really ah, mashughuli nini so we are really in, in that house 
hata chali yako anaweza come by the way mko mnabangaiza na yeye hapo nini si si hatuna pressure si tuna fry to as immigrants to make come tukapata wasio wafiti tunaweza sikiza na poa nini nini wadao i don't know what changed but somehow hata si ati umresha li move in kwa hiyo hao but tu vitu zilianza tu kuchange i think alika chini akajiuliza okay u boy as in uh, ananipatia kila kitu man as in nikiwa na huyu nina feel some sort of security man uchali yangu ni mpoa ndio lakini <laughs> siko ubaya aki na si kwa ubaya as in manzo hata wewe you, you choose we angalia tu ubo ni mpoa is not malicious akai ana ofisi si hungry as in ananifanyia tu vitu manzo juni boy true manzo kidogo kidogo jo roho unajua hii kishazima hii inawaka ha sasa unaanza kukua young and stupid so kidogo kidogo dem ameshaanza ku zile vako za ah. unajua hata boy wangu by the way ayuko mtaa nini So asitunde tu basi mtatu bangaize na wewe huko kwako nini so sasa wameanza ga kuishi garden estate na uja mawakomoros kidogo boys anashinda akivuta vuta ni aje eh hey, hey, imekuwa long kabla, kabla tuonane mazeni inakuaje si ni kama hata nikutembelee nini ah mazee siko eh hey, kuna ma vitu za chuo nafanya fanya ma projects zimetuai nini nini all of a sudden mresha kanza tu kukua distant 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 ikafika point sasa hata simu azishikwi so boy wangu hapa mazee akaanza kuanda mazeni nini si hata mtu hata you text anasema mazee hii relationship yetu bana ni kama sioni kama inaenda mahali so mimi nimeshuka nikapanda hii matatu ingine as in yenye inasonga mazee hakuna communication as in alianza tu kunyamaziwa na ikakuwa ndio hivyo eh kidogo kidogo sasa mresha kaanza kutumwa tumo nje ah mazee tuko na mabeste pale Lagos bana wamekuona wanakupenda in fact wamesema lazima uwatembelee wapi Lagos eh hey. kidogo kidogo anawekwa kwa ndege KQ quick fast anakimbizwa Lagos anapata mazee kikosi huko ya wanaija wa nice anashindwa sasa wa Nigeria mnajua aje na huko jana wa Comoros ah huko jana wa Comoros tumekuwa tukishi na Lagos hapa hata in fact ndio wa kuje Kenya walimetoka Lagos nini as in ni ni boy true sana mazee so tulisikia finally amepata msejo tuka nice jitu liko tuna sisi dream yetu na hope zetu ilikuwa bana huko jana asiangukie msichana ovyo ovyo jo ah tukasikia amepata a nice girl from Kenya ah tukajua mambo ah mambo mufti ah iko tu sawa iko sawa so after stay hao ya Lagos ya kitu kaa wiki moja nini dema ka rudi Nairobi Kenya so wanampatia gatuma gift hapo naambia mzee ukifika Comoros patia uboyo wetu hiki kamambo hapa nini mshoezi ni nini kutoka kwetu ma gift kutoka kwetu mzee eh tunamtambua mbaya so mresha na kam na nini anapatiana mizigo huko na, na life inaendelea jo one time ame come hivi ile tu jamaa ameingia akaambia ah na wase wetu mzee wa Niger jo wanadai wametuhata sana. E, unaonaje tu tukimbie hivyo kiasi? E, tu cheki mambo ni mambo vipi? Ah akadai na mambo tukimbie, haina mambo. So wameenda wamebook mpaka matiko nini, kila kitu iko sawa, siku ya kutravel. Jamaa na kama mzee macho zimefura mzee ni red na dai eh eh mzee nimepata news mzee Ah, kuna mtu wetu bana ni kama ametua ametuacha joy me niuma mbaya sana so safari ya Niger sitaki ku cancel we enda uningoje kule mimi wacha nikimbie Comoros mzee niende nione mzee form ni gani eh jo tujue vile nitakuwa update nikiwa kule so mresha na oh pole mzee ah, we, we enda shughulikia Comoros wacha mimi niingie Niger si utanipata tu kutoka Comoros utakam vile haina mambo pap de manaingia KQ teke teke maka Niger Jamaa anaenda Comoros ya nani ulimpeleka anabaki Nairobi. Dem anaenda anapiga huko siku mbili siku tatu. Wale wanaijao wanamwambia ah ah ah, ah mzee tumepata ripoti jo e, boy wetu kutoka Comoros anadai kuna vitu anani urgently so itabidi jo e, urudi hivyo umfikishie nini nini. Then e, once amemaliza ku grieve huko nini si mnaweza rudi tu tu you know to have fun tu haina haina pressure. Ah dem anadai iko sawa man iko sawa. Eh we ni jenga kile unanijenga mimi niishie so anapatiwa suitcase nini anaambiwa sawa sawa man adios muchacha we tutazidi sawa 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 sawa. Ha Mohamed Mutala Airport anaingia kwa ndege pale teke teke anaanguka JKIA 
pale JKA hey, mambo iko sawa si unajua pale arrivals unaingia nini nini hey, watu wanapiga piga masaach pale kidogo kidogo eh hey, kuna bagi yake ikuji eh hey, baga ikuji jo wamekaa pale kwa conveyor belt bana shangaa bana eh hey, bag jo eh hey, mambo vipi anauliza uliza eh hey, hey, kwanza ina announce hiyo pale kwa speakers nani 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 eh hey, ah, ah, come 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 kwa nini fulani anakaa anachukuliwa vizuri anaingizwa kwa kakeja hapo pap inafungo eh hey, ni aje au ah, uko fit eh hey, hey, Nigeria ilikuwa aje ah, nice eh hey, uliko menda business pleasure nini ah ah mimi niko nimeenda tu pleasure ina mambo but eh, niko na family huko so yeah once in a while mwaga natembea ah okay ni suitcase yako eh hey, haya ni yangu mm when do you pack ah, yeah, of course ni suitcase yangu nani mwingine anaweza ipack ah okay 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 sawa so bag inafunguliwa vipoa kabisa ni nguo kila kitu nini 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 but akiangalia chini ya suitcase hapa imepigwa wembe vizuri so base ya suitcase kuna kuga na kitu inaka ka plywood sijui ni, ni ka, 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 kitu ka gumu kana kuoga hapo down so in between ako ka kitu ka gumu na the material hapa chini kuna wanaitaga fake something nimesahau vile wanaitaga basically kuna ka space wame create hapo alafu wameka ka something kana ka hivi ka carpet this thick but in the size of the entire suitcase inatolewa maze white powder inaekelewa juu ya meza pap anaulizwa iki tu wakati ulikuwa una pack suitcase au ku feel eh nashindwa hii hii imetoka wapi ah si umesema suitcase ni yako wende una packing au ku feel kitu fani juu hii kitu hii hata ukiekelea kwa weighing scale hapa tuko na almost 2.5 kilos ya yeah, whatever this substance is na 2.5 kilos ikiwa kwa an empty suitcase you will know you will know so hiyo story unataka kutuambia oh ni ukujua is this, this bullshit why to support us yani wakati siste wetu ambie tu hii kateli yenu inacheza aje give us a few names tuone kama pia wewe utasaidi utasaidika sadema na shindwa give us a few ne- me mimi nilitoka hapa mazeni kaenda kuona mabeshte wetu mazee wanakuoga na ijaa in fact okay si mabeshte wangu sana ni mabeshte wa chali yangu mazee mi historia oh, oh ni a ah, mimi ah, sijui ah so akamwambia basi wewe since umekataa kuongea mtu yangu ah wewe ingia pale remand tungoje kesi yako isikizwe tuone kama utaangukia at least upatiwe hata kani 14 ni asivi eh yue funzo mrecha kona uongo mbaya wacha ni wacha ni seme akapatia na majina za watu na ijana akapatia na jina ya chali yake mwenye alikuwa amemsukuma hizo maera na mazee kwa ile one phone call msio pewa aka call jamaa akamwambia eh hey, ni aje mti wangu mazee eh hey, yeah. eh kwani wale maboyo wako anaija ni nini mazee wamenipatia suitcase jo ndani kumbe iko na madawa mazee nimeshikwa niko JKA eh hey. ah hapo simu ilienda tu 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 that was the last she had of that guy uo jamaa aliingia mitini hivyo ashapatia na contact za Nigeria maze mpaka location hiyo hiyo hao walikuwa na stay nini authorities washafanya mambo yao maze pale Nigeria wana wanaingia hiyo mask na wanapata a ah, is a rental kumbe hasa wamekuwa gawa kihaya hii hao anytime waresh wanatolewa Kenya wakikam hivi wana haya hii keja waresh wakikam wanapakiwa mizigo alafu wanasukumwa Kenya maze kumbe huyu mresha yuko peke yake it's a string of yani hivi ndio wasao wamekuwa kioperate maze kuna waresh wanasukuma gwa tu huko every two weeks every two weeks yo maze simu zimezimo zote Nigeria wale wasao wapatikani akaambiwa maze sheria ni sheria mtu wangu ule mwenye tumeshika na drugs ndio tunaweka ndani kama uweze tusaidia kupata ni kina nani wanakutuma ni kina nani unauzia wewe ndio unaenda ndani maze unfortunately maze uh, despite everything she tried hakuna kitu ile come through akaenda maze akasukumwa remand pale kesi yake kasikizwa akapigwa miaka zake 17 fresh fresh as we speak the lady bado ako inside i think ako langata if i'm not wrong eh hey, jamaa wake mmoja alimwacha matani once in a while after 2 3 years anakimbiaga pale anampatia tu tissue na nini na nini angalau bana maisha isikuwe ngumu sana maze but eh ni noma hapa hivi nje kumbe kuna maraia wako kazi. But this sijui kama mmekuwa mkinotice kuna tu vijana wadogo hapa nje wanaendesha magari kubwa kubwa. Na uwezi uwezi uwezi. Acha niwaambie wakurugenzi na si kujipiga kifua. 
but ile siku mtaniona na gari kubwa hapa nje si mtajua tu live huu mkurugenzi anafanyaga vipindi za tv e, tumemuona akifanya maadvert hapa na pale e, kidogo pia wakurugenzi wanamchangiaga pale ako na katil namba pale so inaweza kuwa hiyo gari, gari imetoka hapo wewe hauna kampuni hauna nini lakini unaishi hapa nje mpaka tunashindwa wewe unatoa pesa wapi haya Mabebe tuko hapa nje mazetu unachanganywa na wanaume mbaya sana. Mtu ana exchange gari kama boxers kila siku. Gari tofauti. Unaona hiyo unaona ah this is it. Kumbe mtu bana ni pharmacist. Yo. Tukoe careful sana hapa nje maze. Squeeze Wacha niwaambie na hii ni kitu nimeona tuna generation ya sahi hatu respect process. Respect the process. Wacha nikwambie ndio ufike point sasa wewe unajiita milionea lazima kukuwa na hiyo process unless wewe ni mtoto wa hao watu wakubwa ulizaliwa tu hivi ukapata kuna 200 million imekungoja kwa account lakini wewe ni kijana tume grow na wewe pale line saba. kidogo kidogo na kuona unabadilisha magari hapa every two weeks na una kazi una kazi stubebe pia wewe so tuko very careful na si madem peke yake hata mandume siku hizi naona mandume wanaingizwa kwa hizo vitu mbaya eh, watoto wadogo hapa wanatumiwa kuosha pesa nini nini <laughs> guys guys Hakuna siku serikali itashindwa na dondo yako. Dondo yako iko. We uta, ukiwekwa tu kwa mkono wa serikali hivi uingizwe pale ndani. Ah, dondo hata wakikuhesabia 21 years watakupikia. Ai? Dondo ya 21 years kwani ni kilo ngapi? Watakupikia mtu yangu. Let's be smart guys. Let's be smart. Kuna mresh mazea na talent sana alienda ndani at the tender age of at the time she was what? Uh, that was around 2010. She was my age 24 guy at 24 unaingia Yo tukweni careful wa dao maze na wapenda sasa zitaka kusikia nime lose mkurugenzi juu ya grid hapa nje maze Hiyo ni nonsense kama kawa tu subscribe pale maze story kikushika you know what to do jenga mkurugenzi hapo ndio asianze kuuza madawa <laughs> peace <laughs>